Today, we're going to be taking a look at some nostalgic UK kids TV shows. I found this compilation. It's by the same guy that made the, the, the ads ones. A guy called Bob Skeleton. Shout out to him. And yeah, let's get into this. You see, okay, all right, I know where the, this is the koala one, isn't it? I, you see, I remember this. I remember them. I remember how they look. I remember their little plane. Although I can't for the life of me ever remember watching a single episode of this. Oh, yes! This is my shit! Oh, it's an absolute bagger. Oh, do I still make these? Is Big Cook, Little Cook still a thing? Ah, oh, it finished in 2011. I mean, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm 23 years old. I'm not going to be watching Big Cook, Little Cook, I promise. But what a show. This little 3D animated intro hasn't aged the best. I mean, even by 2004 standards, this was pretty poor. But like, you're, I guess they were just showing this to kids, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> My god, even I can make something better than this. Like seriously, I can make something way better than this in about an hour. This art style is fucking horrible. I have no idea what this is for, but I hate this art style. It's like one off that horrible corporate art style. Best of fr never heard of that in my life. Hey, oh, what a bag of show. Hey. What can you say? Da, 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 da. Oh, it's a great show. I don't really remember what they did. I think they kind of just fucked about in a house. This is one I vaguely remember, but it's not one I watched consistently. I probably watched this like once or twice, but I still remember it. This was actually genuinely terrifying. This was a genuinely terrifying show. I don't know who thought this would be appropriate for kids. Do they make anything like this anymore? Do they still make these? Uh, it finished in 2013, but still, it's pretty terrifying, wasn't it? It was like that old man. Him, him. He scared the shit out of me. Oh, banger. Banger. Here come the rubber dubs. Ah, oh. you see, it's like with this, I really recognise it, but I can't for the life of me remember a single episode. Like, what do these bar fuckers do? Do they just like fuck about in a bathroom? I do remember this show being pretty decent, though. I don't know why, but I just remember it being pretty decent. It probably wouldn't live up to uh, you know my standards of uh, television today because I've got you know such high standards. I watch such great shows all the time. But it was good. It was good for its time, and the fact I was probably like five. <laughs> That's another one I never really watched. Bamzuki was a technical marvel. When I was watching this as a child, I was like, AI will one day take over the world. Look at these little Bamzukis. One day they will be our masters. I'm on a mission to find the deadly 60. Oh. This guy was like the original Brave Wilderness. That was a good show. I never watched it in my spare time. It was always in like science class or something. We put on Deadly 60. I don't know why. I think they put it on in religious studies once. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. Oh, this is unlocked a memory. The animation on this one isn't absolutely horrible either. Most of these shows, as nostalgic and brilliant as they are, their art style was fucking horrible. Like, it was like the shitty early 2000s cheap 3D animation type shit. This is nice. It's not nice, but it's all right. It's Coming up with a kids TV show idea must be piss easy. Like you literally just go into any toy store and be like, oh yeah, that fucking thing, make a show about that. The stories basically write themselves as well because it's like, who's watching this? Fucking four year olds? Who's gonna care? It's like Coco Melon or Troon Troon or channels like that. The videos don't have to be good or don't even have to make sense because they're being watched by people that can barely speak yet. So you can get away with any old shit really. <laughs> Okay, you see, now I remember this, but I never watched it. I watched probably a couple of episodes of this at most, but I, I wasn't a kid. I, I never watched CBBC. I was never a CBBC enjoyer. I was, I was more uh, Nickelodeon. I watched like SpongeBob and that. When he hears that fire alarm, Sam is all. Climb and Sam's a classic, innit? It's like it's like probably the most one of the most mid kids shows ever, but it's like it's it's classic. It's been around for ages. Now Pingu. Pingu was a fucking elite show. It was so good. I feel like I could watch Pingu now and still be entertained by it. It's like one of those ones where like in like fucking Wally or something like that. Where they don't say a word, but you understand everything they're saying and it makes it like ten times funnier. It, I love I love Pingu. 
You see, this, I, w I probably watched this quite a lot, Basil Brush. But I can't for the life of me remember what the fuck happens in this show. What happened? What, what did he do? What happened? What's this about? I feel as though I remember this. Is this like Art Attack or something? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was like one of those those like Art Attack type beats. I remember that. I remember, I remember that show. I mean, I don't. I just know of its existence. What the fuck is that? That is horrific. Underground. What the fuck? Who the fuck is Underground Ernie? Bro, who the fuck grew up watching Underground Ernie? Who watched this shit? I hope he gets hit by a tube. What the fuck? Sorry, what? What the fuck? Nah. That's awful. That's horrendous. Ah. You can't see the expression on my face, but I'm like gritting my teeth. This just looks horrible. What year did this run from? Hang on, hang on. I'm looking this up. Okay, there was only like one series of this produced, I think. And good. I'm glad. I hope whoever whoever made this is, is held responsible for their actions. That's not how the fucking underground works! What does this have to do with the underground, Ernie? I don't wish death upon anyone except Ernie. I hope Ernie dies in the most painful way possible. He deserves it. This looks fucking horrible as well. The art style, on, I always thought the art style on this was like just awful. Like even as a kid, I was like, it looks, it looks bad, but the show's kind of, it, it kind of slaps. It did slap. It was a good show. Many years ago, the sun hid behind the moon. I still remember the only time I've ever watched this show, which is Raven, was like when I when I was sitting in the dentist's office. So I'd always go like right after school and this would be on at like four o'clock. And I'd just be sat in the dentist's office wait, waiting for like my mum to have her teeth cleaned or whatever and i should be sat watching this tv waiting for my appointment and i should have a raven on it that's the only time i've ever seen this show i remember it being pretty good i do remember raven being pretty good i should have probably watched more of it i remember this but what the f what is this tickabilla what is that why do i remember this i've no I What's this? This isn't describing to me what the show's about. It's just kids dancing around with like a fucking rainbow thing. I've no idea what that show's about. <gasps> oh, this was. Oh, the shiny show. This was a banger. This was a banger. These guys were like the original. You know those guys that go around shopping centers with the diamond testers and te they test people's chains and stuff. These were these were the, the original ones of them. <laughs> Again, for the life of me, what was this show about? Was it just about shiny things? I'm trying to figure that out. Was this literally just a show about shiny things? How many episodes does this have? Because the thing is, I remember this being sick. Apparently there's only one episode, according to IMDb? Surely not. There, there was loads of episodes. What are they on about? Nah, nah, science wrong. Nah, there was more than one episode. I, wa I remember watching this avidly. There was no way I was just watching the same episode on repeat. Play okay, the shiny show. Who play the shiny show? Look up. Sad to think that dog's now dead. Up in the air or on the ground. Again, again I'm saying this about most of these shows, but I have no idea what the fuck this was. Wasn't it just like they fly to like a cheese factory or something and just have a look around? Come outside. She's flying a private plane everywhere. That's not good for the ozone layer. Every girl. Every boy. The theme song for this did not have to go so hard. This is like an this is like a James Marriott song. Let's go and find the thimbles. It is a bit like a James Marriott song. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Thimbles. Thimbles. I want to kick all of them. Oh, look at that ugly fucking frog! Don't you just want to kick his head in? I hope someone sets them on fire. It's Roly Mo! Why do I remember his name? Why did that just come to my head? I mean, it looks terrible. It looks. <laughs> I don't know why seeing him roll up a fucking hill made me laugh. Yeah, this is an iconic one. This is an iconic show. Backyard thing. What's the backyard of this? I recognise that for some reason. My name's Tyrone. That looks that don't look good, does it? I mean it's a kid show at the end of the day. It looks better than 90% of the other ones. Your backyard friend. 
I have no idea what this is. I've never seen it. It looks too American. This I think is this American? Yeah, it's American. This don't count. This don't count. Why is this in the UK compilation? There's a bright red track. <laughs> God, there was so much crap on like kids TV in like the early 2000s, weren't there? Like, when 3D animation just started becoming cheaper, everyone just pumped out any old shit, didn't they? It's tractor Tom that saves the day. James, is that? I recognise that name. Who the fuck's that? What the fuck? This guy was in The Hobbit and. I don't, know, I don't know these other ones. This guy's like an actual, like, proper actor. And for some reason, he's in this fucking... <laughs> this? It looks like a shit post. <laughs> Fuck, that, that is the... That, this is the worst one I think I've seen so far. It's just based off nothing. It's just based off a fucking tractor. I can make a TV show for, like, what, five-year-olds? Easy. Give me an evening and some coke and I'll, I'll get it done. I'll get, I'll get three seasons written. <laughs> Does anyone else remember that meme from like years ago where it was like the Wiggles saved me? Hey, I'm gonna try and find those. Those are fucking brilliant. Oh, I can't find any of them, but they're, they're, it was funny. It was funny, I promise. Ready to wiggle. Wiggle your ears the thing is, right, obviously these guys are in like respected careers. They're kids entertainers. They're making bank. I respect them. But what do they tell their friends? Like, how do you explain this to, pe to, like, to like your friends? Like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a wiggle. I kind of like just dance around on, on TV for kids. What do you tell women? How, how, how must women feel about someone in this job? Like they're receiving pipe from <laughs> Greg from the Wiggles. How, how must that make them feel? <laughs> I wonder if Mr. Maker has made any NFTs. If he did, I would buy them. Do you think Mr. Maker owns a bored ape because it's true art? I love how many like ripoffs of Thomas the Tank Engine there are. Like, this is clearly just a ripoff of that, and it looks terrible. The they ain't got shit on Thomas. Thomas ain't even have to worry about Chuckington. Ah. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Sorry, what is this? Can, can, can we just read some of this again? HajLewis.com millionaire. Yeah, it's really showing its age, isn't it? <laughs> Imagine if they made a show these days, like a kids' TV show, and it had like Taj Lewis NFT millionaire. No. <laughs> Never heard of that sh show in my life, but I kind of want to watch it. Okay, now the animation on this is pretty good. Yeah, it look, this one looks nice. It's not shitty like the tractor one. This one looks good. What year was this? this Fifi and the Flower Tots 2006. And so none of these have any excuse. Fifi and the Flower Tots put that work in to make this look good. This is a banger song as well. This is a banging theme song. Okay, this was like, I never watched anything on CITV. This was like the only thing I ever watched on CITV because it banged. It was a really good show. This was genuinely a really good show. Was this based off like books? I swear this was based off books, but I just remember the TV show. Oh my God, you're joking. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, what have I just seen? There's a Hor Horace Henry Carts game on the Switch. Are you joking? I'm looking this up. I'm looking this up. This is going to be absolutely awful, isn't it? I'm just curious how they're going to do this in 2D. Midair to keep your balance or to do flying somersault. Oh, shut up, you fucking dork. Why are they selling this on Switch? This is like a shit tier mobile game. There's no reason to be charging money for this, realistically. No more than, like I'd say, like, three quid. You can't charge more than three quid. If you were selling this as a Switch, how much is this on the Switch store? Its retail price is $30. That seems quite excessive for that. And it came out this year! It came out like a week ago! Are you mad? It came out January 21st! Well, anyway, guys, that's where we're gonna leave it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to let me know. Like and subscribe if you're new. Much link in the description, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye!